God saved the king, blanketed the world. As the coronation unfurled into a moving endeavour. The inheritance of the crown therein bound him to the hearts of many forever. Here, in the year of our Lord, 2023, in a world devoid of faith in the Lord, this right did not sever. The king was anointed as the ruler of Britain and the Commonwealth and instilled with an oath. The ceremony was steeped in faith and bespoke. The coronation is a cultural tradition spanning a millennium on an island that extended itself to the world. We can say the negatives of what was, or we can focus on what is. Parliamentary democracy, the value of our monarch and the separation of powers. Alas, our king is a gentleman, a fine man, an admirable character who has esteem among the world's leaders. Not only the aforementioned, our king has in his heart a passion for things that concern us all, things that should concern us all. Our king has heard the plight of our failing planet, our dying earth. Our king concerns himself with action for our planet. He does not reside in an ivory tower. He utilizes the God-given power he was granted as a birthright. Our king concerns himself with more. He has worked tirelessly in a charitable ways to rehouse and reinvoke a sense of fairness in the realm. Our king, being of mixed race to a foreign father, surely holds no racism nor xenophobia. Our king, born from one of the most hard-working queens we have ever known, surely knows how to be devoted to the realm. Our king, who has served his nation and put his life on the line on the seven seas, surely knows his duties and obligations. Our king, a devout Christian, who upholds the notions of our nation to always be open to our other faiths practicing on the British Isles. Our King, gifted by the divine right of kings, the regalia symbolizing such admirable human qualities will invoke their meaning in his rule as he has already invoked them in his life. A father to children, bereaved of a wife, he surely cherishes the notion of life. A king with a long history of loss who finds in his troubles triumph in charitable deeds. A king who as a prince worked philanthropically. A king with a son who has risen to the occasion. A prince who made a mockery of the monarchy walked into a coronation where monarchists and monarchs were watching. The nation and the commonwealth looking on and so two sons remain strong. Let the past be gone. We send praise to our king, for under the king our nation is one. Bound by a historical and cultural phenomenon that is rare in the world. The rich history of the Magna Carta, the freedom of religion and the binding of peoples of old. The unification of the Isles and for a time the world. Therein, when the call to oath was decreed, I knelt on my knees to declare my king worthy of my service and he of service to me and the realm, worthy of the Lord God to give unto him the crown. From the beginning of Tables Round of Albion, the legends and legacies, there were heckles in the crowd, the anti-monarchist movement shaking the ground, the foundation of the cornerstone of our nation. If only they could know the passion and the love and the history and all of the above. Through their bitterness and resentment and potential ignorance, they missed a most moving coronation that ushered in a king who is most certainly worthy of serving our nation.
God save the king. God save the king. God save the king.